Our Dolphins. Our Dolphins. Our Dolphins. Smart. Maya. Yes. Do you think dolphins are smart? I think they're very smart. Why do you think that? I don't know why. I think they have a college degree in the ocean. To survive in the ocean, you have to be some sort of intelligent. I've got some thoughts in research also. Dolphins have the largest brains relative to their body size, second only to humans. I knew it. It's big and juicy and meaty and full of wrinkles. Research claims they can recognize themselves in mirrors and can learn to communicate using symbols. There have been examples of dolphins using tools to their advantage, including a group of bottlenose dolphins in Australia who put sponges on top of their noses to protect them while scouring the sea floor for food. That sounds like they are smart. I wouldn't know what to do with a sponge like that. They have incredible empathy for their own species and others. It's not uncommon for dolphins to rescue drowning humans in the open water. Oh my god. I think that if I was swimming and I was drowning and I saw a dolphin swimming toward me, I would think it was a shark and poop my pants. There is even an ongoing effort to grant dolphins personhood, to give them the same freedom a human has. Where does it stop? You're in line at your, you know, the icing, getting some earrings. There's a dolphin in front of you, getting dolphin earrings. <laughs> so they must be pretty smart. Well, maybe not. Many animals have been shown to understand language, including apes and a border collie named Chaser, who famously could understand about 1,000 words, while dolphins can learn dozens. Primates, crows, and other animals have been known to build their own tools to aid in their survival. Additionally, chickens exhibit vocalization capabilities and can learn socially just like dolphins. As for recognizing themselves in a mirror, the dolphins displayed similar behavior when there was no mirror present. If it is true that they can recognize themselves in the mirror, I wonder if they have the same insecurities we have when we look in the mirror, like, mm -hmm. ugh, like my nose is too big, my or like, is too my fin is too slender. How did humans become so obsessed with the idea of dolphin intelligence? How did dolphins go from being cute ocean mammals to the icon of mystery and otherworldly intelligence they are today? Throughout history, dolphins have been revered in countless myths across the globe. In Roman mythology, they transported the souls of the dead. Amazon River dolphins were thought to turn into handsome men at night in order to seduce unsuspecting women. Would I date a dolphin if he turned into a handsome man? Well, you're at work all day. I am. So if you're at work all day, your boyfriend's a dolphin, you come home. But then again, I don't know what he's doing during the day in the ocean. If he's talking to other dolphin female ladies. friends, ladies, like, and then you want to come home to me at night as a handsome man? You know, there's a lot of fish in the sea. That's good. But in modern society, our dolphin mania started with a man named Dr. John Lilly. In the late 1950s, Lilly mapped a dolphin's brain using electrodes. He was convinced they had heightened intelligence, their own language, and were trying to communicate with humans. He gained massive media attention, which led to funding, which led to, you guessed it, more experiments, most of which aimed to teach dolphins English. If, if a dolphin spoke English to me, my eyes would fall out of my head and my teeth would fall out of my mouth because I would be so scared. I feel like, you know what, we're not ready to hear what they have to say, what they know. In the 1960s, Lily began administering LSD to his dolphin subjects. Oh man. He would also dose himself with the drug and float in an isolation tank for hours. <gasps> On his first experience taking the drug, he said, I traveled through my brain, watching the neurons and their activities. But the drug didn't seem to have any effect on the dolphins. So he just like got drugged up and partied with dolphins? For science. What did you do last night? <laughs> I was doing LSD with my dolphin pals. <laughs> Can I ask what animal would you take LSD with? A starfish. In perhaps the most famous of Lily's experiments, the doctor half flooded a home in St. Thomas, where another researcher, Margaret Lovat, lived with a dolphin named Peter. Which is a very boring name for a dolphin. I don't know, I kinda like it. I would trust a Peter. That's my dolphin Peter. This is my friend Peter. Not like, this is my friend Oshafina from oh, the ocean. I love it. Oshafina, that's a good dolphin. Claim. Name. <laughs> the goal was to teach Peter to speak English so man and beast could finally communicate. Margaret ate, slept, and spent time with Peter like one might a human roommate. Then things got weird. Peter grew attached to his teacher and began seeking sexual satisfaction. No, 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 no. I knew you were gonna say that. I don't wanna hear that. For a while, Margaret transported Peter to a tank with the female dolphins each time he acted out. But as this became more and more frequent and continued to interrupt their work, 
Margaret gave in and masturbated the dolphin. Only then would he focus on the lessons. I don't like it. I don't like that piece of information you just fed me right now. What about it don't you like? That's disturbing. I knew that was gonna happen and I hoped that you weren't gonna say anything like sexual like that, but then he went there. He probably was like, oh yeah, every time I do this, I get a little something something. Peter did not learn to speak English. By 1967, John Lilly's funding had dried up. After that, the research center closed. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that that's, uh, sounds about right. While his earlier, less controversial research was well respected, his ideas were certainly extreme. Much of what he claimed seems to have soaked through into the zeitgeist, despite the lack of solid evidence. If John Lilly had focused his research on, say, otters, Hi there. would we believe them to possess human-like intelligence? Justin Gregg, author of Are Dolphins Really Smart? The Mammal Behind the Myth, thinks this is a possibility. I don't know why I have this feeling in my soul and body that dolphins are smart. I think with the things that they do in the ocean mm -hmm. as dolphins to get around, to communicate, to survive, I mean, it's but very well, smart. So many, all animals do that. Dogs bark at each other. We don't think that they have a language. It's incredibly difficult to measure the true intelligence of an animal. Who are we to say an ant in its own habitat is not intelligent? One of the reasons he believes we see dolphins as intelligent is their human-like behavior. We see ourselves in their complex social groups, their playful attitude, and their ability to empathize. Greg argues the more scientific path to unlocking the secrets of dolphins and the intelligence of all animals is by studying cognitive abilities. How do they behave in their environments rather than in comparison to ours? I do believe that one day it's gonna be revealed that they can talk and then they're gonna open up a can of truth. What do you think the dolphins are gonna say? About aliens, because aliens store their ships in the ocean. What are the aliens doing? The aliens are just living their lives. So what is your big, do you have any kind of big takeaway today? Dolphins are interesting AF. I do think they are intelligent to some degree just by being kind of like, you know, human-like. There's definitely dolphins smarter than people out there. Can I do my dolphin outro song? Yeah. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. We learned about dolphins. Are they smart? We don't know. It's not confirmed, but they are majestic hoes. No. Dolphin?